He's been white. I guess mom must have put you in here, huh? Uh, middle age comics, one sec. I'm on my way. I'm just hooking up the mic. All right, mic check one, two. Looks like it's working from here. How does it look to you guys? Tell me if you can see what I'm saying. Oh, hang on, I gotta take a picture before I go. We're doing, uh, we're doing most of mailbag upstairs today. Oh my God, you are way too much, kiddo. Too much. Good, okay, sounds great. Well, that's good to hear. Now, let me check the cameras. I'm gonna to have to arrange them. I didn't do that in advance. But I thought that this wild mom and her little baby might appreciate their first mailbag with us. This is their first, right? I can't remember if mom's done one before. We don't have a pillow for me to sit on in here. That's okay, it's just gonna be a short one anyway. I'll just plop myself down right here on the floor. I'm gonna turn this floor camera around a little bit. There we go. Maybe, maybe like that. I don't know. You guys can't see much of me that way, but that's all right. Give me a sec to get this all arranged. I know I came super prepared. Super prepared. Okay. Good. That camera's a little bit crooked, isn't it? Let's fix that while we're sitting right here. Oh, maybe. Uh -huh. Try that on for size. Uh, doesn't actually look like it helped all that much, but okay. Why is it so crooked? It looks straight. Wow, that's the wrong way. Huh, that looks super crooked. What is going on there? It must just be the angle to the wall. There must be more of an angle there than I recognize. Okay, that's fine. We're going to do it like this. Perfection. I'm talking to myself because none of these cameras are visible to all of you. Let's fix that. Here we go. One, two, three. There we go. Now, I think we can see a few things. Uh, let me just double check all that. I know, fascinating. Okay. Good, and check with all of you and see what you think on Discord and post those pictures I just took, which are so cute. Did I post them? Let's see here. No, I don't think I did. I'm just gonna post them all, I'm not picking. You guys can pick. All right. There we go. Okay, uh, so um, here we are for mailbag, and I'm going to grab a little kitten in a second, I think. But first, uh, since she's sleeping with her head buried in the crab uh, and her mom's being a nut over here, we'll wait just a minute for that part. Uh, let's see. Um, news of the week. Is there news of the week? The, well, the big news of the week, of course, is that uh, three of the kittens had their spays this week, and the rest are having their spays Monday and Tuesday. Um, uh, and uh, Joyce was originally scheduled to be adopted today, but uh, the doc, um, when she was doing uh, Joyce's spay, she saw something she thought might be a hernia. And uh, when she took it out, she thought, okay, not a hernia, probably like a lymph node or something. Uh, but she wasn't entirely sure, so she, she sent that off for a biopsy. Um, but because of that, and because Joyce is so small, she had to close her with external sutures, which she hasn't been using too much lately. She mostly uses glue. Uh, but Joyce is the only one that has actual stitches, and those are going to have to come out before she gets adopted. We, we did give her adopter the option of just continuing to pick her up today, but uh, all things together, she decided to let us uh, take care of that and just to put it off one week. So Joyce won't be going home until next weekend. 
Uh, if you'd heard that she was going home today, you heard right, but she's not. Um, uh, speaking of things that you heard right but are not, uh, I, I guess I've been told that Kashmir still needs an adopter. I'm not entirely clear on it, but I think that is the case. So I know I said before that uh, everybody was upspoken for, but I think Kashmir is not. Um, so, uh, and while we're talking about cats that need adopters, there's of course Cuddles. Um, she's not here now, but that, that little kitten, I don't know if you heard her, just yelled. I think she's like wants me to shut up so she can sleep. Uh, Crank did. Um, let's see, I was saying Cuddles needs uh, also an adopter, which, uh, you know, she's not here, but you can apply for her through us if you want to, or you can apply for her the usual way that Dawes does it, uh, however that happens to be. Uh, probably an app on their website or uh, in person, either way. She is. Uh, she had her spay too, and she's doing great from what I hear. I think that's all of the news. Uh, oh, uh, one other thing, don't let me forget that there is one package I left downstairs that I would like to do downstairs. It was just a, a big box, and I thought, all right, we're not going to bring that one up. Uh, that's the one from Bob and Ruth that we forgot last week, so let's try not to forget it again this week. Um, but uh, otherwise, everything, almost everything is here. There is one other exception, which um, I got two heavy boxes in the mail today, and I opened them in the garage and left them down there. One was two bags of boxy cat litter, which didn't technically have a note, or they did. The note just said, enjoy your gift, with no uh, other text on it. Um, but uh, we also got um, uh, a case of Nulo and a case of the chicken baby food that the kittens love as treats or as bribes. And that one was labeled as being from Raylene and Xenathon uh, in honor of Gadget and her kids. So uh, they always send that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to give them the blame for that litter too. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> that was too much bite on a sensitive spot there. Got me right on the, the webbing of my thumb there. Uh, she she bites a little hard. Now, she's not trying to hurt anybody, but I, I think she needs to learn to settle down just a little with the biting. I said settle down a little. Um, so, Raylene Xenathon, thank you so much. You guys always send the, the practical matters, you know, the, the food, the litter, the stuff that you know is going to get used here for sure. Um, and I, I sent a note from those to, to say thank you for that, even though I didn't bring them up. Because, uh, you know, carrying that litter around can be a lot, and the food's kind of heavy too. Not too heavy to bring up, but I just, I was like, all right, we got this. So, Raylene Xenathon, thank you so much for the food and uh, presumably the litter. Uh, well, I'm on the subject of this mom cat, which I'm not anymore, but we're going back to. Um, I did, uh, she, she's been out when wandered the house a few times, she's met some of the faculty. Um, she is a bit of a, you know, wild, like she's got this, this wild mom energy. Uh, I'm sure you've seen that. You're seeing it now. Uh, so I don't entirely trust her around the faculty, uh, yet, but so far the worst that she's done to any of them is hiss when they get close. Uh, but she does have like, like she's, she gets all snoofy. Like when she's, when she's investigating or when she gets close to one, she does this like sniffing. That's like a real pronounced uh, like a like a bloodhound, you know, sniffing, uh, like, just like that. That's what you sound like. That's you. Um, so uh, that also makes me a little nervous because it seems really excited and also some of the other cats might sort of take that as a bad thing, uh, and I would hate to see a reaction to that. So we're looking out on that front. Um, and she also is, you know, hyper uh, aware of them from a distance, too. So all of that put comes together to mean I'm, I don't entirely trust her to be cool with the faculty in the long run, um, but we're going to keep letting her try it out and, and sort of being careful with introductions and see if we can arrange for friendships because she could definitely use somebody to wrestle with uh, other than just me. Um, I did have her in the office with Custard this morning, but that was, I basically just described how it went. She was snoofing all around the room, uh, and uh, Custard, you know, went right up to see her and hissed, uh, she hissed at, at Custard from point blank range, but then I petted him and she's like, well, okay, I'll stop hissing because dad's petting this cat. Uh, but she was still making like this, those wild sort of sniffing sounds right at him and then all over the room and just, you know, it's, I, 
you just got to be careful. That's all. So we're just taking it one step at a time with her. Uh, but I would like to see her find somebody that she can take this crazy energy out on. So we're going to work on that a little bit. Um, Okay, uh, let's do the mailbag since we're here. There's not a whole lot of it, but there are um, a couple packages that you know you can see. If you, I don't, maybe you can't see. Uh, we have a, a B and B Sisters box here. Those are always fun and take a few minutes to get through. And uh, then we've got the Bob and Ruth uh, downstairs, which I think had some large items in it, so may not be as much to go through as it looks like. But um, other than that, we've got a couple drop ships things and, and three letters, and that's it. So uh, we also did have a couple of letters I just want to let you guys know did arrive that was said not for mailbag, and so I set those aside already. I haven't actually looked at them yet, but uh, they are here if you sent one. Probably here, I don't know. Um, I'm not saying who they're from, so we, I guess we can't be sure. Okay, uh, we're just going to start here. This one has a fox and a rabbit as the stamps on it. Oh, and look at this, this cat playing with a ball yarn to seal it. That's really cute. All right, addressed to Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Didn't even bother to get out the letter opener. Aw, it's got a really cute English bulldog. Uh, you can tell he's English because he's wearing a monocle and a top hat. Uh, that's how you know an English bulldog from a French bulldog. I'm just saying. Um, and uh, it says thanks, of course. He looks very cute. And inside, there's a sticker of a cat drinking milk straight from the container and uh, another little kitty just looking. And it says, just wanted to formally thank you for letting us into your home to play with cats. We appreciate all you do from April in Asheville, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat. All right, well, thank you. It was so much fun for me. I think we talked about that last week, so I won't belabor the point. Um, but uh, I really enjoyed it, and I still haven't like you know recovered in the sense that um, uh, people brought stuff for us, and most of that's still sitting like on the counter where we put it during the party. Um, most of it, not all of it. Um, but uh, I did finally put away the folding chairs, and I've uh, mopped and cleaned the floor a couple times since then. So you know we're getting we're getting over it slowly but surely. Uh, I feel like there was something big that I still had meant to do after that and hadn't gotten to, but I can't remember what it is, so I'm not getting to it now either. Okay. All right, we have a uh, olive green letter here, and it's uh, got a Canada stamp on it, so let's see. It is a uh, watercolor and ink of a bunch of cats in a bunch of boxes. They're very cute, actually. This is some great art here. Little cats playing with boxes, in boxes, um, and uh, in and out of boxes. And one of them says fragile. I think you can see that. Oh, it's titled Hooray for Boxes. Oh, hi, buddy. Are you going to come see us? Hi. Okay, she's thinking about it. She's so cute. She is just painfully cute at this point. Okay, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, congratulations on your new bundle of kittens. My husband, Chris, and I are writing to you from our new home in Victoria, British Columbia. We're not on Discord yet, but tune in daily to the live stream. It's always exciting news when a new mom cat is so warmly welcomed into the academy. We thought this card would be perfect for a mailbag. I work remotely at home and so can enjoy watching the stream all the time. Do you and DJ have any vacations planned? Um... I'll get back to that. It's a beautiful sunny day here on the island. Wishing the Academy all the very best. Love, Jen, Chris, and Stanley, our cat. Stanley's a great cat name, by the way. Ah, ah, too bitey. You know better. Play with this. Bite that. Bite this. Hi, where are you going? You want to come hang out with me for a minute? Yeah, I think you do. I think you do. Sit right here with me. So, uh, do we have any vacations planned? Well, not, not nothing planned, uh, nothing formally planned, but I mentioned last time this question came up um, that my mom tells me that I have to come see her this year or else she's going to disown me. And DJ told me, uh, it's on the calendar, when her next time off is that I could actually schedule that trip and DJ can take care of things here at the Academy and I can go see my mom. Um, but I don't remember when it is. I'll have to check and get that all arranged still uh, in due time. But I'm definitely going to do that. I love my mom, and it would just be a tragedy if she had to disown me. Uh, you know, it's just, I wouldn't want that. So I'm going to have to go see her. That's the rules. Um, 
other than that, I don't think we've got anything even sort of in our heads. But, you know, DJ does finish her fellowship uh, about one year from now, next summer. And we might end up super busy then because we might have to move. Or even if we don't have to move, we're certainly going to want to move. Um you know, to uh, at least a different house in the area if DJ gets a job that's in the in the area. Uh, so we might just end up super busy there, but if, if we're not, that, that also would be a, the first chance that we get to do things that we've been putting off for literally 10 years now since DJ started med school. Uh, you know, we've, we've put off a, a lot of different trips that we want to take and um, all sorts of things. <laughs> so... Uh, so we've got a lot of catching up to do in about a year, and uh, who knows what's going to happen then. All right. Uh, I, there were three notes, right? Did I do three, though? No, I didn't. There's still one right here. Okay. This one's super cute. It says, Hi, teaspoon with a little orange heart on it. And a Kitten Academy, the uh, end of the Y is turned into a kitten. Uh, so that's really cute. On the back, it's sealed with stickers that say, You're the best, hooray, and you're a star. And inside, oh, do you want to help tear some paper? I bet you would like to do that here. Oh, oh, inside there is also a donation. Oh, thank you. That's very generous. Um, all right, time to start putting the donations in the box. There we go. Put that right there. Okay. Thank you. That is a super generous donation. I really appreciate that. Here we have two little pixel kitties hugging each other with a heart, and they're very, very cute. And the note says, hi, okay, hang on. Now, stop with all the biting. You want to bite something? Here, bite this. Come on, try the paper. No, you're really weird about what you will and won't bite. Uh, it says, Mr. A and DJ and all the wonderful kitties, a token of our appreciation and love for all that you do for our felines, hoping all is well, love. Uh, um, is this the, the name that I just... And Tim, I just saw your name somewhere else, didn't I? What am I doing? How did I just... Uh, okay, well, it's um, Love, hmm, Delu and Tim? That can't be right. And JPL, well, uh, Lilu and Tim. Um, <laughs> I covered up the address, so I can't have just seen it there. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of uh, somebody else. Well... Okay. Uh, oh, I know where I saw it. I saw it over here on the check that you sent. The donation, of course. That's where I saw it. Hang on. Let's just check the, which... The, uh, oh, oh, I see. It is Deb. Uh, I think that... I don't know if that does say Deb, though. Uh, and Tim and JPL. Okay. That's what we're going to go with. Uh, I, this is really cute. Your donation is super generous. Thank you very, very much. I don't know how to tell you enough that I appreciate it. Um... And we do have a uh, Kitten Academy account at the bank now that allows us to cash those checks that are made out to us. Uh, but I will tell you, um, uh, I will get to that in due time. I don't, I don't head to the bank very often. Um, and I don't know if I can do Kitten Academy stuff for my phone like people do these days, like I do for any other stuff that I get. So uh, maybe I'll give it a try. Anyway, my point being, uh, don't panic if it takes a while, but... Uh, Oh, you brought some food for this one to try? Will she try it? I don't know, but mom's being just a nut. I mean, really, so. too much. Maybe. Maybe we should put her next door for a minute and. Uh, you want any gadget? Come here. She probably want to bring it. I don't know. It's push on it. I don't know Ow. if it's unlocked. Ow! Is she actually biting your leg? No, it's not unlocked. Okay. Do you want me to carry her over there, and you can. Yeah. Okay, we're going to put mom next door because she's being a little extra and that'll give her a new space to explore and DJ can try to feed the kitten while I finish up mailbag with you guys. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's no litter box in the second annex. I'm going to put her in the rainbow room because there is a litter box in there. Okay, check this room out, okay? I'll be right back. Oh, she looks excited to see what's in there. Okay. All right. Can I sit right here, though? Um, oh, no, I put it on her face. <laughs> that's okay. She'll clean it up. Here, I got this. You want me to clean it? I don't see anything on her face. She's fine. Oh, that's 
Okay, do you want me to try putting a little in her mouth for you? So we tried feeding her once already, um, and, uh, you know, we always... Oh, she does have little teeth on the top, though. Yeah, she does. She bit me. <laughs> she's just got a strong bite, doesn't she? Here, you can clean your fingers on this. She'll get super excited if she likes it and starts shaking. It is very cold. Yeah. Well, you must have got this one out of the fridge. Yeah. Yeah, could have given it 10 seconds in the microwave, but that's okay. I think I she is interested. Gonna... It's, it'll be fine. Oh. Boop. <laughs> yeah, you want to try a little more? She's so good at licking the floor, at licking the inside of the strawberry. Maybe we should just put chicken food all over the inside of the strawberry for her. Oh, now I got it on her face too. Wow, she's difficult. Oh, oh no, oh no, it's all over her face. <laughs> it's all over her face. Okay, that's fine though. She's um, all right. That was a nice little uh, break. I'll let DJ keep playing with that if she wants to. But we've got some packages we need to open. It's nice to have DJ here for mailbag. So let's dive right in. Uh, the first package is from April in Asheville. Ooh, it looks like the good stuff. Let's see. Wow, it is not just the good stuff. It is packaged like the good stuff. It knows it's the good stuff. Look at that. In, a, in like this felt bag. You know it is because I just felt it. And... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, gold um, print, like shiny gold. It says, thank you so much for allowing us to visit your home and play with kittens. Here's a small gift for you to enjoy. See you next year. Oh, that's wonderful. April in Asheville, thank you very much. This is obviously, oh, 100% Kona coffee. And that's the good stuff. And the label on top says extra fancy, uh, which, I mean, you can tell. Just look at the bag. That is wonderful. Oh, this is really good stuff. That'll be fun. Thank you very much. Oh, that must have cost a pretty penny, too. Okay. It says trademark, so I guess uh, I guess if it's not from the Kona in Hawaii, it's just sparkling coffee? I don't know. I, I'm trying. She's licking stuff. Okay. But she's just not good at licking from the bowl yet? That's a good start. Cool. I don't know if you guys can see what DJ's doing. Maybe I should move one of the cameras a little I don't know bit. She's doing it. No, that's fine. And that's fine though. We can at least see you play with the kitten. Yep. If you're not visible. Yeah, you're kind of visible. Let's just make it a little more. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Isn't it good, Jamie? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey everybody. There okay. you go. Yeah, what do you think of that? Oh, blink, big blink. Did you look in the fridge for KMR2? No. I don't like KMR2. Okay. I, don't I wasn't going to feed it to you. But I don't think there was any. Maybe okay. there was in the box. Uh, if there was, it would be in that drawer. But uh, there might not be. I can't remember if I ordered it or just put it in the cart and then didn't order it. Okay, next up, uh, we've got a box here that is a Walmart box that is for Kitten Academy. So, um, I don't think there's a place to leave a note in a Walmart box. And there's nothing on the outside to say who it's from. Let's take a look, though. Ooh, premium. Uh, these are multi-purpose premium washcloths. They're not just wipes. They are washcloths. Uh, that sounds fancy. This is the fancy version of uh, the wipes, I guess. Very cool. So there are four giant packages of that. Oh. Yeah. I kind of want to open them and see what they're like, but we've got a bag of wipes here right now. I don't want these to dry out before we get to them. They sound really cool. So uh, thank you to whomever sent these. Obviously, we go through a lot of wipes here, and it's always fun to try something new, and this one is definitely new to me, so we will give it a shot. Uh, thanks. All right, that brings us to the B&B &B Sisters box. Oh, very distinctive, so I'm not really giving anything away by saying that we know who it's from here. I think everybody knows who it's from, if you can see the box. So let's see what wonderful stuff we've got this time. There we go. Right open. Oh, they put a knife guard in. I don't know if they do that every time, but this time we got it. Okay. 
And the note right on top, and look at that rainbow unicorn print Pegasus thing. I'm excited. Oh, look at how pretty that is. It is, uh, it's sort of uh, like a floofy version of Gadget. It's a calico kitty that's very floofy, and uh, it's like a watercolor or ink uh, marker, something. I don't know, it looks like a little bit of stuff here. Yeah. And it says, Calico Cat. Wow, well, there you go. Uh, based on an original artwork by Hannah Dale. It's very pretty. Inside it says, hello, Mr. and Dr. DJ. Sorry, but we went a little crazy with all the blankets this time. We saw, found so many cute ones it was impossible to resist. We also included some toys you may choose to deploy at KA, but as always, please feel free to use as you see fit. Uh, we had some trouble finding cans of Nuo this time, so we went back to Fancy Feast. We hope that's all right. Thank you for all you do, B&B sisters. Uh, Beatrice and Bernadette, that of course is all right. We always find a way to use that stuff, and I, it is nice to have uh, different foods on hand once in a while when when somebody's picky. Do you have a wipe for her face? Yeah, uh, where did I, here we go. Oh yeah, it looks like she's got something in her eye here. Do you want me to do it? Yes. Since your hands are all dirty, come here, let me clean your face up a little bit. There we go, we got you. Okay, I think she's about done. Nice try eating. We'll get your mom back in here for you to try nursing, okay? Uh, she's still going to be going at her eye a little. Oh, sorry. Okay, B&B sisters. Well, I'm excited about these blankets, too. So let's see. This one looks like... Uh, oh, let me move this chicken so I don't just blanket the chicken. There we go. Or chicken the blanket, I guess, is more of the concern. Oh, their little cat, uh, Pegasi. Um, that's very cute. And they've even got like a little halo thing going on and rainbows. They are adorable. That could go well in the rainbow room. I'm going to put that uh, right there. Okay. This one is a bold and colorful blanket. Uh, which direction is the right direction here? I think like this. Oh man, look at that cat. Also a rainbow in dark mode. I like that quite a bit. It's uh, That could go in the rainbow room as well. Although most of the stuff in there is light mode rainbows. I definitely like the dark mode stuff. Like, that's great. Uh, it just might stand out a bit, which is fine. Here we have tiny little mice. Just the right size for a certain kitten I know. Maybe we should leave one out right meow. Oh, a bag of them. Look at that little feathered mice. You want this orange one, orange? There go. I'll put it over there for now. A whole bag of them. We have a, a set of cat toys that are themed for space here. We have a rocket ship and the sun, star, uh, a couple of um, sort of shiny planets, uh, a flying saucer, an alien, and a moon. Those are super cool. I think we saw that set once way back when we were doing the space theme and I built that flying saucer. That's a, It's a really cool set. This is a microphone from Spoiled Cat Crochet, and uh, it is, I, I believe, yeah, just like a mic. Look at that. Hey, do you want to say something into the microphone? No? All right. Wow, she just shook her head in response to that. That was a little bit on point. Well, her mom's got plenty to say, so I'm sure the microphone will get lots of use. Uh, here we have cat heads, um, cat heads candies, and one is trash cat flavored, one is classic potato cat, and one is dumpster cat flavored. Um, those flavors don't sound like the best flavors, but that's cute little cat heads. Yes. Okay. Uh, I love this little lion flinger. It's got a little, um, it's got a, like a hairband tied into it, so you can just shoot it across the room, leaves it like a little launcher. And his face is adorable. We have a hot dog with mustard. Just mustard. That's good. No ketchup, though. You don't put ketchup on a hot dog, and somebody knows all about it. So there we go. Perfect. Uh, catnip toys. Is she doing that? She's biting the fish. She's just biting the fish. She's just got her own idea about what she'd be eating, and apparently it is beds. Do you want to try to carry your mom back over here? Um, I guess she can eat the rest of this chicken, right? 
Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, this is that uh, the set with the the cute little. Oh no, I was going to say lion head. It does. It has the lion head and the fox head in it. Oh, these are very cute toys. Also, a couple fish and an owl, which are also very cute. But this little lion guy, I love him, and the fox is super cute too. Very cute. Okay, hi, bro. Look at look what I got you right here. Do you want that? I bet you do. There you go. I thought you would. That's a cute set of toys. All right. Um, moving along. B&B Sisters, you guys sent so much. Oh, this is another toy I should deploy a few of in here. I know I brought her one yesterday. Oh, it's right here. But that one is a little worn out, and it's only one. She's going to need a few to find them when her mom starts kicking them around. So we're just going to put these right out there. She is about ready to start trying to play. She's not really coordinated enough to track stuff yet or to really interact with it, but she's trying, and that's worth something. Now, look at this. We have a loot. I think that's what this is, isn't it? Claw and Claymore Handcrafts. It's so pretty. It's got the printing and details on it are fantastic. It's a big loot uh, catnip kicker. There we go. In a loot bag. <laughs> Obvious, obviously. Okay. Um, this one is a beehive. This is so cute from Crazy About Catnip Handmade Cat Toys. It is a beehive, and attached to it with a little ribbon is a tiny bee that uh, then they can play with both parts of that. Look at that. That's so cute. I love the beehive. Like a classic sort of beehive appearance. Okay. Uh, we got some flip-flops for the beach. Oh, Margaritaville branded. Wow. Wow. Um, is a registered trademark of Margaritaville Enterprises. How about that? They must have um, got that from uh, Jimmy Buffett. Uh, I guess he probably makes money licensing for that for all kinds of things. Who knew there was a Margaritaville flip-flops? Don't step on any pop-tops. Uh, let's see here. Cat Toes Floofs. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, cat Toes, sort of like Cheetos. Uh, where do you find so many of these parody brand things? I'm surprised there's still new ones that you're sending. Fantastic. Another beach set. This one with a camera, uh, some glasses, and... Oh, I see. This is not a uh, beach. This is the hippie. Uh, it's got a camera. It's got some rainbow glasses and Perfest 24 Catphoria All Access Pass. And the All Access Pass also has a little elastic band on it for flinging across the room. A uh, cool ball with this uh, feather on top. Here we've got sushi snacks, including an onigiri, which I love. Uh, and then it uh, looks like a shrimp uh, sushi wasabi and kitty cat soy sauce. <laughs> that's, that's an adorable one. It's got like a parody of the Kikoman uh, soy sauce on there. So it kind of works. Okay, we've got the uh, rainbow unicorn. Man, now I want to make some of that uh, onigiri, um, or uh, is that what, what do you call it when it's um, when you take it and then you sort of like uh, uh, grill it <laughs> after after it's made? I can't remember the word for. It. I think it's got a different name. Uh, good stuff that way. That's my favorite way to do it. Um, okay, so here we got some clownfish. And, oh, another margarita bill toy. This one is the salt, a shaker of salt, also the actual margarita and a lime. There we go. Well, I found his lost shaker of salt, so now we know. Uh, we've got some fuzzy gray mice, a whole bag of them. Oh, this is cool. It is a, uh, a Tamagotchi, believe it or not, and a cell phone and a mixtape, Meow Mix tape, volume one, 90s. Uh, that's very cute. Wow. This is so 90s with the Tamagotchi and the cell, old cell phone, the old style cell phone. This is some super retro. Oh, it's called So Meow Some 90s. All right. That makes sense then. That takes me back. Look at that retro little cat toys. You want to play with the Tamagotchi? The Tamagotchi also has the little fling elastic band on it. Very smart. Okay. Uh, Tritos, flaming fast. <laughs> That's adorable. I like it, flaming fast. Uh, we've got the catnip squirrel raccoon. They're sort of semi-flat mice, but this is a, a raccoon and a squirrel. Very cute. We have a bird that's made out of some sort of weird pineapple material and has an adorable look. Go check him out. Okay. 
And then some very flattened, uh, the fancy style Mylar balls that also have like that tutu material in it. I don't know what you call that. It's sort of a mesh. Uh, so it's not just Mylar, it's Mylar and mesh balls. I would give these guys one of them, but you know, little kittens um, like her can't retract their claws yet and they get stuck in everything. And that mesh just seems like something that she would get her claws in and, and not know how to get out of for a while. So we'll save that one for later. And now the rest of the story. Uh, blankets, I mean. Uh, that was definitely not my Paul Harmbury imitation. Uh, let's see here. This, wow, that's very cool. It's a cat wearing some fancy jewelry and a bunch of butterflies in sort of a... Um, uh, what is the word I'm looking for here? That yellowy, uh, um, retro, uh, vintage... Um, Oh my goodness, why? There's a word and it's just not coming. It doesn't matter. It looks good nonetheless. Uh, it's going to hit me in a minute. Uh, okay. Very pretty though. I like that. Those colors are fantastic. Uh, this one is a big orange cat. Also, well, not wearing jewelry. Wearing flowers, like a wreath of flowers. Super pretty. Uh... Oh man, what do you call that? Uh, old timey, uh, wow, not coming. All right, that's fine. Sometimes they just don't anymore. All right, <laughs> keep rolling. What do we got here? Uh, there we go. Ooh, very pretty sort of a purple and blue cool colors cat looking at, I think a flower, a very pretty flower it's examining. That's great for a room where we're doing blues and purples. Oh, super nice. I like all these cute ones. You did find a whole bunch of very cute ones. Oh, and now we've got our St. Patrick's Day, uh, or springtime, I guess. It could be anything. But it's super green, and it's got a border around it, and it's got a whole bunch of cats uh, looking rather nonplussed about taking their photo in the garden with um, butterflies and... It appears lilies, which is not a great idea, but uh, it gives me an opportunity, I guess, to mention to everybody, if you don't know, uh, never let your cats around lilies. That is one of the things, like, people people talk about stuff that's not safe for cats, and most of it is like, yeah, but if they eat it, they're just going to vomit it up. That's what, the, you know, it's no big deal. Lilies are not in that group. Lilies are in the, this is a big deal group. Um, so definitely don't let your cats around lilies ever. Uh, we had to learn that the hard way way back when. Uh, the hard way being like we had to take all of our cats to the vet and, and give them charcoal. And uh, they were all fine, but it was it was an awful experience. Um, so, all right. And a tray of Fancy Feast. Um, so thank you for everything, B&B &B Sisters. That is spectacular. I'm going to put all the blankets on the bottom here. I know you mixed them up so they would be good packing material, I assume. But I'm going to put all these on the bottom and then try to fill the top with all the toys and stuff. Now, there's some really cool stuff in here that I'm excited to see cats playing with. That is going to be a lot of fun. All right. So, uh, I have not forgotten. We're going to take Mailbag now and head downstairs to open the last box with the kittens down there. Uh, the Ruth and Bob box that they left here during KA Con, and I think said I can open on the mailbag, so that's what I've been planning on doing. Um, and we'll see. I don't know if there's a lot of stuff in it. I saw there were like some big beds or something, so it may only be a couple items in a giant box, but we shall see. So let me pack this stuff up and head out. Little, uh, little Crank's already gone back in her bed and is, uh, yeah, sleeping soundly in the crab once again. We'll turn the camera to point at her before we go so we can keep an eye on her later. I also installed a little temperature and humidity and uh, et cetera sensor, a multi-sensor in here so we can keep track of what temperature the whole room is, which is something that we used to do before Google cut us off and we decided to switch everything away from them. And now we are doing again, but we're doing it ourselves in a way. Nobody can stop us. Nobody can stop us now. All right, uh, so there we go. 
Oh, speaking of technical stuff, oh man, the big news this week is I've gotten back into working on the update to our camera system. And I am really excited about how well it's going and how easy it is to add new stuff to this new method that we're using. So uh, who knows, we may be able to keep up with that, but I am so excited to go back to that today, uh, right after Mailbag probably, and get some more work done on it, you know? It's like I said about um, working out is, uh, you know, when you get the, the impulse, when you have that feeling of, oh, I wanna do this, that's when you've really got to do it, you know, because it'll come to you eventually. Like if you've been putting off working out or uh, going on a diet for a long time and then you wake up one morning and you're like, I could do this today. That's when you really got to jump on it. Um, and uh, that is how I feel about getting this coding work done right now. So I really do need to jump on it. Uh, but let's go downstairs and open that box first Let me move this stuff out of here I think we can just sort of I'll come back for that slide it on out okay that way I don't have to try to oh, pick it all up at once and have stuff fall off like it just did put that under the coffee right out the door okie dokie that could sit there for a minute come back for this and we're gonna whoa, head downstairs. Okay, sweetheart, you're in charge in here. Uh, let's go ahead and carry this stuff downstairs while we're doing it. Okay, now I gotta pick it up. There we go. I'm gonna leave that right here by the door to the basement. I'm going to put the coffee over on the kitchen counter while we're walking by. I know once again you guys can hear me, but you can't see me. That's what it's like when I'm invisible. In the big box it says Bob and Ruth mailbag on it. We're just going to drag that right on in to the other room with the kittens and switch the cameras. Hang on. I got it. I think, I think I got it. All right, one, two, two and a half. Might as well switch the other camera too since you can't really see any kittens upstairs. Uh, let's see. I don't know why I picked the sunroom to put on, but I am gonna leave this door open. Oh, hi kids. So these kids might all run out. You guys stop nursing on her. She just had surgery the other day, you know. Hi, teaspoon. Okay, I don't think there's a pillow in here for me either. Definitely not, but that's okay. This, like I said, this might go very quickly. I just didn't want to bring it upstairs. I thought we could uh, have a little bit of a mixed mail bag. Some upstairs, some down the downstairs. So here we are with the downstairs segment of the show. Let me just double check to make sure that I am on camera, more or less, and that I, uh, people can still hear me okay. Looks that way to me. Also, um, let's see, I do wanna put on this other camera real quick just cause it's right here I see. There we go. Okay, let's see. That means, uh, though, I want to turn even more so I'm not just pointed right at it. Okay. Let's see what this has been. All right. Ah, it is a box, I think, of mostly beds. So, oh, <laughs> I did not see that coming, though. This is a pizza bed, as you can clearly see. That is hilarious. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun for kittens. We have a big, soft, uh, sort of salmon-colored uh, corduroy bed with this really soft fur on the inside. We got two of those, actually, matching beds. Fantastic. I have just the place to put this stuff now um, as we're storing it to be used. Ooh, uh, this has a tail. 
It just has a tail. I can't tell what it's supposed to... Oh, I guess it's a fruit. It's some sort of a plum or something. I don't know what fruit it's supposed to be because it's pink here and it's lavender on the outside and it's got this little uh, leaf or stem on the top. But uh, I couldn't tell you exactly what it's trying to be. I feel like I should. Does it say anywhere? There's not really... Novelty flower. Oh, I see. So it's not even a fruit. It is a flower. Huh? Okay, I can see that. That's that's cool. Um, it is a nice bed nonetheless. That is going to be just fantastic. One more. We have a matching lavender nut house. Uh, the sort of triangle shaped bed uh, pod that is uh, the one that we had was um, like a um, acorn. We had an acorn one in that style originally. That's why I say nut house. But it's a cute little cat pod. Then we have a really soft blanket, which is, uh, oh, now this is interesting. It's got this sort of a reptile um, print uh, velvet, uh, like, a, like a soft velvety thing on the outside. And then on the inside, it's got this fur that's really soft. This whole thing is just incredibly soft to touch. And we actually have a, a big like cat bed and a tunnel made out of this exact same material. So that would be real good to add to that set. That, that's going to be fantastic uh, to put those together. That'll make a nice theme all by itself at some point. Uh, here we've got some yarn balls made that, not of yarn, but they do have little yarn tails on them for the kittens to play with. Look at this. In a theme, again, uh, with that bed, we also have a pizza cat scratcher and the, the ball hunt toy that uh, like Teaspoon is a big fan of. Everybody's a big fan of, actually. They all like it. Here comes Teaspoon, speaking of him. That's cute to go with the pizza. And we have got, uh, we could do like a little pizza place. We've got the video game hut. Uh, we could put it together with the retro 90s stuff and do uh, the cassette tapes and stuff in there, too. That would all fit together in my head. I don't know about everybody else. But uh, let's see. This looks like we've got a, a raining cloud that has a rainbow coming out of it and uh, sort of an upset expression. We have a lightning bolt cat toy in here that looks like he's very proud of himself and a happy smiling sun. So it's sort of the weather pack, I guess. Very cool. I don't think I've seen a lightning bolt cat toy, or at least not in a while. I think DJ will like that one. Uh, here we have two cat scratchers, the wave cat. Uh, fairly generic, but also very popular sort of cat scratcher. Look at that. It's going to get somebody on it now, even though it's not opened at all. Uh, the sh sh oh man, I don't know how to say this place in New York, Chattaqua. That's what I'm going to go with. Uh, we've got a, a travel magazine for that. We have the Villager, also in, in Ch Chow Chowtaqua, Ch Chattaqua. Uh, that's what I'm going with. I'm just going to stick with that. Uh, this looks like a fun one for me to look at, though. Nice local paper. I always enjoy that. I get distracted by it right now. This is not the kind of thing I need to strike while the iron is hot, even though the iron is hot. Uh, <laughs> uh, and another one of the uh, the travel guide. That looks like a fun place to be. They make it look fun anyway. Oh, wow. They make it look like a lot of fun. How nice. Okay. Uh, put that away for a minute. We've got a Sky already in this box checking it out. She probably is after this tub of churu baby food. Uh, and kitten version of the Sheba food. I didn't even know they made a kitten version. That sounds cool. Maybe we can try it on the guy, the girl upstairs. Who we're having trouble uh, getting to switch to real food. It's early. It's, she's three and a half weeks old now, right? Three, I was just looking yesterday at the weight chart going, I cannot believe she's three and a half weeks old. Where did the time go? Um, but she is, ah, she's just so cute. And uh, three and a half weeks, she might start eating. Like I said, her teeth are coming in. You can feel some of them, not all of them. Uh, she's got a real strong bite, though. Like when she decides to chomp on you, you really feel it. Um, gets that from her mom, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah, any day now. Like, you know, it, it is about four weeks, I think, on average when we can start getting kittens to eat. Some a little early. Uh, most of them a little later, I guess. So maybe not on average. Whatever. How do numbers work? Uh, this is a cat oven mitt, and it's really got these cute little cats on it wearing sweaters and necklaces, and one of them's wearing a, like a, a sweatbands. Uh, it's just a variety of cats. Uh, so there we go. 
everybody from business cat to workout cat and uh, we got some in-betweeners very cute then we have two matching cat tunnels that are this blue and orange camo pattern I'm sure there is a name for that, but um, I, it's been a while since I played Metal Gear Solid, so I don't know all the camo pattern names anymore. Uh, looks really cool, though, and I think this is a nice color to match stuff when we've got a room that uh, could go either way on this. Oh, it's, you know what? I'm looking at it again. Um, it looks to me like, at first I thought it was a little more purpley. I guess there's a little purple in there. They're cats! Oh, I didn't even make it out that the camo is cats. Can you see that? So first off, they're cats, and secondly, it really reminds me more of like a calico or one of those calico koi fish for some reason, more than the camouflage, although there is some lavender in there, so I don't know. I like it. That's going to be a fun one to put out, and it's a nice straight tunnel. Um, uh, that's always we, we always need tunnels. The kids love them. So... That's a great set of stuff. Bob and Ruth, thank you so very, very much. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Thank you so much. I just, everything, um, you guys have been wonderful to us through the years. And it was great to see you at KACon. Um, yeah, I just, it was, it was really fun, actually, to, to I, I, I know... I feel like we met you at a previous KACon, but I gotta be honest, I don't entirely remember that. Um, but I do remember, obviously, meeting you just a couple weeks ago, and it was wonderful. I felt, for some reason, like that was the first time I really said hello to you. Am I just not... I don't know. Because the time that you went before was... Uh, there was a lot going on that year, I think. I mean, you know, sort of uh, uh, in the world. <laughs> so... So if you were there and I missed you or just don't remember, I think I've got a good excuse. Mm -hmm. um, but I was, it was lovely sort of, I'm going to say, meeting you for the first time, uh, even if that's not entirely the truth. Uh, I really enjoyed it. You're, you're lovely people. And uh, everybody that came is lovely people. I just, I loved it all. Um, okay. Well, that's it. I never have a strong ending, or don't usually anyway. Um, so we're just going to... Uh, leave it there, and I think uh, after I you know, get uh, some more caffeine or whatnot, I probably will go uh, get back to work on the stuff I'm working on there. It's just, like I said, super exciting. Uh, at the very least, it's going to be less buggy, so we got that going for us. Okay, uh, let me turn off the mic, put on the regular mic, all that kind of stuff. Uh, thanks one more time, everybody. Wonderful. Wow, these kids look like they're up to no good. All right. Oh, wow. How did you guys flip this? Are you getting that big?